Folks, greetings to you. Uh, welcome here. This is Wednesday, something uh, important enough that I, I, want to, um, I want to present it to you. We'll leave it open for discussion. Um, uh, I have also already written and blogged on it, so some of you may have already gotten that information. Um, I did just a little while ago. And I'm going to do a follow-up blog that's going to coincide with what we're talking about right now. That is, is another understanding given to me that I can actually see uh, sequence of events differently. As I have said before, and we've discussed the peace and safety being said. Now, again, in blog, I've gone into detail, so I'm just going to make this short and basically right to the point. And that is, is I want to put everything into a sequence the way I see it. Paul, when he was speaking to the Thessalonians specifically about the rapture, and the question has come up when it says peace and safety, then sudden destruction, you know, are we leading the destruction then to the timing of the rapture. And I said, yeah, that, you know, near, close, but I can never really pinpoint it. Well, that made me think. So here's my new scenario. This is the way it works out. You know, remember, we said there could be a third leg to the ending of the Gaza war. And I think there is. Now I do. And it has to do with going along with the timing of the rapture. As we're trying to figure all of this out, what I'm seeing is, is that this war in Gaza can be interrupted by the rapture. And this is more plausible than my past scenario of the war ending and then the rapture, okay, or the sudden destruction. Well, let's, let's do that again. All right, so the ongoing wa Gaza war is interrupted by the rapture that stops the Gaza war. When the rapture happens, the church out of the way, the Gaza war stops. For a short while, everyone will be saying peace and safety, but the war isn't over. Israel has not won the war. Then, the sudden destruction. Okay, so let's go back over that again. Right now, in the Gaza War, somewhere, anytime now, the rapture will interrupt the Gaza War, but the war is not finished. It needs to be completed. But when the rapture happens, they say, the war in Gaza is done, peace and safety. The church is gone, peace and safety. Now, again, in my blog, I've gone into a lot more detail, and I'll explain more in detail. I just wanted you to see this shift in thinking, and, well, get your input if you would like. And uh, do I need to just one more time so we get that straight? Okay. The war ongoing right now in Gaza can be interrupted by the rapture would make the most sense. Then the war in Gaza comes to a stop, but it's not finished, but people will be saying peace and safety. Then God says, I'm going to finish the war for a purpose, specific purpose. And that war is, is so that Israel can get on with the last seven years of a covenant where the son of perdition then will be coming into play. I'm blogging on that next. That blog should be out within the next couple of hours, if not later on this afternoon. Folks, I hope this was helpful. I, I just gives you more to think about, but it actually really makes more sense than waiting for the Gaza war to come to an end. Because it does not look as if it's going to be ending anytime soon with Hezbollah stepping in now the way they are. Good. Until next time. Uh, if something else comes up, I'll let you know. If not, I'm going to be back here on Sunday and we'll pick it up from there. I am keeping up on a steady pace in regards to my understandings given to me. Uh, with what's going on in my website. I'll leave a link to that, uh, folks, you can get to it if you haven't been there yet. Good? Okay, thank you. Just wanted to get that out to you.